Almost five years have gone by since the day on September 3rd, 2007, when Panama Canal expansion work formally began. Rigorous work and dedication make it possible today to observe how the components of this mega project have evolved over time. The construction of the new locks on the Pacific and Atlantic sides, the excavation of a new channel for post Panamax vessels transit known as the Pacific Access Channel, raising a Toon Lakes operational level, ACP in-house workforce dredging of the Pacific and Atlantic entrances, as well as the Culebra Cut and Gatun Lake. The design and construction of the locks on the Pacific and Atlantic sides is the largest and most complex component under the expansion program. At $3.2 billion, the contract was awarded to consortium Grupo Unidos por el Canal on July 15, 2009. That same year, on August 25th, the contractor officially initiated the work. A significant number of the 20,000 jobs created to date correspond precisely to the construction of the new locks. These structures will have three chambers, water saving basins, and a lateral filling and emptying system. By the end of June, the project, whose execution includes the design, manufacturing, and construction in different countries around the world of the different elements required by the new locks recorded 28% progress. In order to comply with the requirements of the locks filling and emptying system, the contractor, employing a physical model, performed a series of tests with several scale ships. The ACP accepted the final designs for the new gates and valves. Manufacturing of the gates has already begun in Italy by subcontractor Cimolai and four of the 16 gates are already being assembled. The first gate is expected to be completed in August and the first four gates should arrive in Panama in March 2013. Concurrently, the valves are being fabricated by Hyundai Samho Heavy Industries in South Korea. The first shipment of valves is expected in July 2012. Regarding the construction component, the contractor is placing structural concrete in the areas of the upper, middle, and lower chambers on both the Atlantic and Pacific sites. Work on the locks advances as another contractor moves forward with the creation of the new access channel that will link the third set of locks on the Pacific side to the Culebra Cut. Three of the four phases which make up this project have already been completed. The fourth and final phase currently registers a 65% progress. As part of the work under this last phase, construction of a 2.3 kilometer long dam moves ahead to separate the waters of Miraflores Lake from the new Pacific Locks access channel. These projects progress along with ongoing dredging projects at the canal's entrances and the existing navigational channel. The dredging projects are also pressing on at a very good pace. Work at the Pacific entrance, contracted to Dredging International, a Belgian company, has now reached 86% progress of planned dredging. On Gatun Lake and Culebra Cut, two-thirds of the dredging work is being performed by Panama Canal in-house forces. The rest was awarded to two contractors, Jean de Nul, dredging the northern entrance to the new Pacific Locks access channel, and Dredging International, who has already completed the dredging of the northern reaches of Gatun Lake's navigational channel. Overall, lake channel dredging has attained 72% progress. In the meantime, dredging activities on the Atlantic entrance have reached a 98% progress rate. The incessantly moving expansion program acknowledges that water is one of its most vital resources. This is the reason why, as part of the component to improve the water supply, a project to increase Gatun Lake's maximum operating level is now underway. Increasing the fresh water reservoir implies changes on different fronts. So far, 11 of the 14 spillway gates have already been extended and installed. In parallel to these works, 
Activities are underway for the conservation of archaeological and paleontological items found under the expansion program work. Incidentally, the fossil of a precursor of camels was found in the vicinity of Culebra Cut. These findings are very valuable for scientific research about the evolution of the Isthmus of Panama. The road ahead is long, but each step forward makes all of those who work in this magnificent feat feel proud of being part of this history-making endeavor. Everyone works, day and night, rain or shine, expecting to reach that great day when we present the new canal to the world, the expanded Panama Canal, everyone's canal.